Welcome back to the channel guys Not again This camp I'm out on a, a coastal camp Between Crail and Kings Barns On the Fife coast It's actually no bad area I'll flip you around and show you Met with Keith again for KDM Outdoors <laughs> This is his wee spot he had before when he was doing a hike. Just going to set up the tent here. I've got the Berg House Cairn Gorm uh, 2. So I'm going to get that set up here side on so I've got a nice view of the sea. That's what it's all about, is it? A nice views. That's the outside pegged out. Let's get this inside up. This tent's very spacious like. Love it. Bosh. Oh. Was up my back up so it's a wee bit chilly. Right then, we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, show you the bits and pieces I've got. Mostly just the same what I, what I usually take, but... My channel's been growing good, so I've always got new subscribers watching my videos, so... It's always good just to give you a quick look through what type of things I bring with us. We're camping on the coast uh, in Fife, so... There's no hot, uh, hot tent stoves or... snow on the mountains or that, so... Now and again I just pick uh, different things to take, but we'll look through it all. Right then. As always, I've got uh, the uh, duck down sleeping bag, a hiking bike. I've got the Thermarest Trail Pro mat, cracking big mat, especially for a side sleeper. Today's bag, I've got the, the Berghaus Voyager 65 litre. It's an older bag, I've had that for a good, good few years now, like. Well, a lot longer than that. <laughs> That's all my cozies, down jacket, hat, spare socks, gloves, snood. There's my Berkhouse uh, down boots. That's just all my food for tonight. Munchies and coffees. Got the drone. Got my, my long johns and my top. That's just GoPro bits in there. All my electrics here. Right then guys, this is my, my kitchen area. I've got my fire kit, I always take my fire kit with us wherever I go, camping, the must. I've got my X fire stove down there for later on when I have a wee fire just at the edge of the sea. I've got my silky pocket boy, Mamora. Got a titanium silver ant, uh, bottle, that's fantastic. It's good for boiling water in and using it as a hot water bottle, also, same as the Nalgene bottle. This wee thing here goes in the dark. It's also good for putting boiling water in and using it as a hot water bottle, so <laughs> that's why I carry it. <laughs> Handy. We've got the alcohol stoves, the X boil stove, and the gear essential stove. They're cracking bits of kit. I take the metal, uh, the wee fold out metal uh, table because obviously I've got the alcohol burners and I sit them straight onto that and it takes the heat of when I burn all that just a wee apple juice there eh? but that's about it no lot on this camp another cracking view for the tent that'll be nice in the morning right then, take that coffee So we're not using uh, methylated spirits. I've got some of this fire dragon uh, alcohol. So I think it takes a wee wet. It doesn't light the same. 
Well, oh, maybe it does. It didn't the last time. And that's the brewing that done. It's absolutely bitter. We went for a wander now. We're going to have a look see if there's any caves in the cliffs here. So, uh, aye, we're just trying to stay out of the wind. <laughs> the wind's freezing. Nice. Stunning views there. Keith tried to put his drone up to catch the sunset, but we missed it. But look at the colours of the sky, unbelievable. Like I say, the tides went out, so we're able to access this area, but we'll wander a wee bit long and then we'll head back. We're going to get a wee campfire going just to warm ourselves up because it's absolutely bitter. The wind chill is unbelievable. We went for a wander around uh, the edge of the cliffs and that along the coast like as the tide went out so we gathered some uh, more driftwood and that so we've got bits and pieces there sitting we're going to have a wee campfire we're going to get uh, some food on first so it's going to be a specialty of mine again <laughs> old chicken super noodles Chicken super noodles and Swedish meatballs. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's actually a cracking tasting meal. Bits and pieces there. Oh, look at that. Giant dummy. Duh. <laughs> Giant dummy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Giant uh, jammy dodger. <laughs> oh, what? Couldn't get that out there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll leave that for later. Right, uh, we'll get some water boiled, get the noodles on, and we'll just cut the Swedish meatballs in half and drop them in it, and they'll warm up while the noodles are cooking. Sparrow. Chicken super noodles, Swedish meatballs, nothing fancy here tonight. Beautiful. Wee coffee on the go. Stick my brew there. Oh. Take that light off, then need that. Maybe leave it on a bit. Right then, let's have a look at the tea. I'm warm for the hands. So a chicken super noodles and Swedish meatballs. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> and I always put a wee bit of more water in, extra water, so you've got the, the juice that you could drink, warms you up. Perfect. Our camps are now about making big fancy steaks and burgers and chicken and everything. Sometimes you just want a nice simple, simple meal, so 
some simple chicken soup noodles with Swedish meatballs. Well, I'm going to fire into this and smash this, <coughs> drink my coffee, and we'll be getting outside and getting a wee campfire going. Alright, mate. Hey guys, that's off, that's bright. That's what you uh, had something to eat. Oh, wait a minute, get that off. Had something to eat. <laughs> that's scary, is it? We've had something to eat. We're just like a campfire, and we're going to sit here at the beach along the side of the fire because it's, uh, it's pretty cold like. What a clear night it is, so the stars are out, it's unbelievable. Beautiful like. There's a wee campfire there. We're going to sit here, chill out, and keep warm. <laughs> there he is, there's Keith. We'll not go far, it's cut though, mate, but uh, <laughs> we're adults here, mate. Eh? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, you were going to chill it just now by the campfire, get it going a bit better. Well then guys, that's me back in the tent. What a nice campfire, uh, it's burnt out. The time is, it's only 9 o'clock. It's pitch black and freezing cold outside. A bit of condensation now. Aye, so I've came back in the tent, I've made myself a brew. I've got a... Uh, Giant Jammy Dodger. <laughs> First time I got it out there. Three times I tried to say Jammy Dodger earlier on. <laughs> Idiot. But I made myself another wee brew just to warm myself up a bit. Just to want to hear this. Get in my sleeping bag and just chill out and watch something on uh, either Netflix or YouTube. I'll see what I've got downloaded. But uh, aye, I'm just want to get comfy and chill right out. So we'll catch you in the morning, guys. Good morning. Oh, what a cold morning it is. Oh. That was a chilly night last night. Aye, it was a wee bit chilly last night, like. The wind picked up. The wind picked up and it was howling under the side of the tent. Oh. Got all my stuff sitting at the front while the wind was howling in, but I managed to stop it, so it's alright. So, oh god. I'm going to get some porridge on and get some coffee on. Heat myself up a bit. <laughs> I asked my coffee in the breakfast, not done so. It looks like a cracking morning now. I'm going to get the drone up hopefully. Hopefully it's not pain in the arse again and starts trying to land itself. But we'll get the drone up. Here look at the surroundings. Right then, that's uh, that's the had the drone up there. 
got some good uh, videos and pictures. I've parked inside of the bag, uh, the tent away. The bag's parked. I've just got outside the tent to park away. So uh, I'll leave you a time lapse for that. Right guys, this is where I was last night. Leave no trace. Bags off packed, ready to go. Another stunning location right on the edge of the, the sea. What a wee campfire down there on the, the rocks last night, just to warm ourselves up a bit. Is it with Keith the KDM Outdoors again? <laughs> I'll leave his channel up here someplace. The stars were out last night, eh? Got some cracking shots of the stars. Beautiful, nice clear sky last night, like. Just like to say again, thanks for everybody who's been subscribing to my channel. We're well over 2,000 now subscribers, so the content's going well. I'm just going to keep uploading content, keep doing what I enjoy, and hopefully you guys keep watching. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.